Hello bros and welcome to the next video, Bro Fire Production, and next part, Sakura Forest Girls. <sighs> Let's return to the story. So I uh, catch uh, Diana before she fell to the ground, but she uh, slipped. Safe. I want to know about Diana standing back while they bring uh, our bodies close together. Her chest presses against my own, and she looks up at me, flustered, surprised. To thank you. It's no problem. What are friends for? I grin at Diana, feeling smugly self confident in my survey rescue attempt. So, what are you saying about being careful? Uh, I'm in a space with uh, such an already pink, just the pink is still at my needling. She glanced uh, away, pouting. I'm at uh, what I said, we should be careful. I just uh, stumbled over a tree root while we were walking. It was a bad timing on my part. I must look so silly. Just a little, but it's alright, I'm not going to judge you. I think you're cute as a matter of fact. I don't know if clumsiness counts as cuteness, but... Anna swallows then glances back at me, her pale eyelashes tremulous. You really are, <coughs> you really are a good friend, Yaya. I appreciate it a lot. I don't know what I would do without you. One hour later. Huh. 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 You okay, Ayana? Yes. I, uh, uh, I'm fine. You sure? You can take a break if you want. No, no, no it's fine. Huh, huh. Almost there. Alright, suit yourself. I don't mind stopping though, I'm getting, or giving you a piggyback. Would you, wouldn't it be, I be too heavy? Nah, I'm sure you'll be as light as a feather. Off I am, uh, what I hope is consoling grin, and she smiles friendly in response. We've been walking uphill for what seems like a small eternity, though it's actually, in actuality, I don't uh, think it's been all that long. We finally made it to the base of the cliffs uh, upon which uh, the witch uh, sits. But now we have to uh, travel its uh, twisting, turning trail. The cliff steeper than I thought it was, and even I'm getting worn down by all this exercise. My heart's uh, tongue being fit to burst, and my forehead's all damp with sweat. I feel exhausted, and I'm had years worth of training thanks to my parents. Ayana, by contrast, knows little of hunting. She spent most of her childhood inside her tent, mixing potion with their parents and burning incense to tap into the earth's myriad mana. Whatever that is. Ayana told me about mana a few times, but uh, her explanation was washed off uh, me like water from a duck's back. Speaking of water, I'm drenched. My skin is all sweaty and my clothes are sticking to me. The sun uh, up ahead is bright and uh, pitiless, and it beats upon my scalp so ting it tingles. I'm afraid Diana might fall again, but she's not uh, complained since we started our ascent. She ha hasn't said a single word to me. In fact, her teeth are gritted and her eyes are narrowed with uh, concentration. She must be feeling even more rotten than I am, but she refuses to show it, slow down. She is doing her best, so I feel obligated to try even harder. Let's keep on going. Go team! I cheer enthusiastically and pumps my fist into the air. Anna smiles as this uh, performs mine and pauses to brush a few strands of ivory hair b behind her ear. Thank you, Yaya. Why are you thanking me? For always supporting me. If I was on my own, I might have given up by now. 
But the climb doesn't feel half so onerous when you're with the when you're with me. You keep me strong. It's still quite a challenge though. <laughs> well, you know what uh, they say. Things are more uh, worth doing are uh, always the hardest. Just think of the satisfaction we get when we make it all the way to the top of the cliff. I bet the view will be really nice. I'm sure it will. Hannah smiles at me bashfully. But it will be even nicer with you. Shanayana takes my hand in, in her own and gives me a squeeze. Ah. I don't expect. I didn't. Don't expect this, and then it brings a flush to my cheeks. My palms are all sweaty, and I feel a bit self-conscious as Ayana clings to me. But then again, Ayana's sweaty too. I guess my rumpled, disavowed state doesn't matter all that much. That's what uh, common sense dictates. But it doesn't stop me from feeling self-conscious. Are you? Uh, all right with holding my hand. I wouldn't do it if I did not uh, want to, unless you don't want to. Uh, of course, I don't mind. In fact, I I like it. It's a uh, comforting. I feel the same way. Being with you always cheers me up. When I'm with you, I feel like I can do anything. Same here. Again, I guess that's the uh, cause. Uh, you're such a good friend, huh? The best of friends. And I squeeze with my hand within my chest, my heart squeezes too. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Huh. Now, uh, this is not a hard choice. So we have, I think uh, I want to be more than friends, I wish I wouldn't have, uh, <coughs> wouldn't I hold my hand when I'm so sweaty. Actually, consider we haven't uh, met Koko again, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen in the story. And uh, clearly Ayana is the best uh, friend we have, and usually when you're a best friend with someone, sometimes you want to be more than friends, so I think this is the best option. I might be nice. Yes, if maybe, just maybe we could be more than friends. I don't know what that would entail exactly, but when I look at Diana, I'm struck uh, by how cute she is. I really do like her. Half an hour later. Finally, I can't believe it. The cliff has finally been uh, defeated. Diana. And I have reached this peak, bringing our arduous climb to a close. Isn't this uh, the same picture in the background, but uh, daytime instead? No, wait. Didn't the background in the main menu have a uh, tree behind it? Huh, I don't know. I hold one hand to my face, shield my eyes from the glaring sunlight, and tip my head back. The sky above is no longer feathered by trees, has never looked bluer. It's so pure, almost completely devoid of cl clouds. It reminds me of a lake. A gentle breeze catches my hair, making it flutter. This is amazing. I smile, please, despite the sheen of perspiration which clings to my forehead. We're up so high I can see for miles around. The tops of the trees are so small, uh, like uh, pico pieces, and I look, I look over there. I point my hair fluttering behind me in uh, the breeze. I can see the village we came from. It's so tiny, like a village for, an for ants. I smile at Diana, my arms linked behind my back. What do you think, uh, partner? Are you pleased, excited, ecstatic? I am, um, well, not saying much, huh? I poke a uh, shake with my index finger. Can I cut your tongue? Um, it. Ah, uh, huh. I am uh, still trying to gather her breath after the climb. 
She breathes in heavily, her cheeks uh, dusted red with ex exertion. Ayana? I found newly anxious uh, at Ayana rumpled state. Are you okay? Um, I'm fine. You don't need to worry. Huh. Huh. Are you sure? You don't need to sit down for a spell, do you? No, no, no. It's fine. I've already got <laughs> most of my breath back. I am not. I am not trying to straighten up, then glance her about the summit of the mountain. The wind uh, captures her hair with the uh, strands floating about the shoulders like friggin' bar skin. It's very pretty up here, isn't it? That's uh, what I said. We're so high up, it feels like we could reach uh, out and brush the sun with the tips of our fingers. I'm not sure if, the, uh, if I would like that. It's uh, hot enough as it is. I wouldn't uh, mind hugging a cloud, though. I'm sure it would feel very soft and fluffy. Like you, you mean? I rub the top of Ayana's head and she giggles. You are might be even more valuable than the clouds are. I didn't know it uh, was in such high demand. Neither did I. I always thought my hair was a uh, curse. But uh, one person cursed might be another person's treasure. It's not I needed you a nice treasure. Hello, oh, Ayana Grin. Now, do you feel up to the pain the witch of visit? A home uh, should, uh, should around here somewhere. It really. <coughs> if it really is here. Let's hope that uh, that merchant lady hasn't pulled a photo on us. I have faith in her. She seemed to um, earnest uh, a person uh, to tell lies like that. I'm sure she will find uh, we will find a witch in due course. You have so much faith in people, Ayana. You're such a sweetheart. Now we recorded from our trek, more or less. The pair of us uh, search for the witch house, witch's home. It doesn't take long for Ayana and I to stumble upon a single solitary hut shrouded by tall pine trees. It looks like the like an ordinary wood hut, but it exudes an ominous air. I feel like instinctively that I ought to keep my distance. But I refuse to back down now. Let's get going. I cry in my knuckles together. We then I wandered through those woods so we could stand here gawping. Besides, I showed Diana a sideways glance. Plus, you look like you could do with some rest. I, I'm totally fine. I'm not uh, sure about that. Your face is red as a beat, and I think you need to lie down, else you might really collapse. That would much have a share of uh, or a divan you can rest on. You know, once we go inside, I skip the entrance to the hut and wrap the door. I am a meanwhile dealers behind me. What will we do if she is a wicked witch? She might turn us into toads. Then I jump inside her cleavage and bite her. You can't uh, bite a witch. I can do whatever I want. I won't let some old lady boss me around. Besides, if she really anything like the witch um, I've heard about, she'd be with an old uh, lady with a uh, hooked nose and a uh, head like a prune. I bet she looks like uh, my grandma. In no way I'd be afraid of somebody like that. I'm not afraid of anything. You and I both know that isn't the case. I, I worry a lot uh, about all kinds of things. I worry about... I worry about my parents and I worry about Coco. But most of all, I worry about you. M -m Me? I nod. I'm going to stay by your side no matter what. You don't need to worry about uh, being turned into a toad. I protect you, no matter what the rotten smelly old witch w uh, does. That's very sweet of you. But uh, maybe we shouldn't call the witch smelly, she might get offended. 
find the pulses. Assuming, of course, she actually inside that hut. If she isn't there, we just sit uh, on our butts down and wait for her to come back. It's as uh, simple as that. I on the door again more loudly this time, but there is still no response. I frown. Maybe she really isn't in, like I said. Or maybe this is some sort of trial. I gave it another go, just in case. I wish if you in there, give us a sign. My friend and I travel really far to find you. And we're tired and we like to sit down. Open this door right now. If you don't, I spit in your eye. I command you to. Ah. My eyes shoot uh, upon it with a alarm. And all of a sudden, the door to the hut swings inward. That with n nothing to support my weight, I stumble. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the reaches are trying to catch me, but she's not quick enough. I fall she into the air and collapse on the ground. Yes. That's smart, damn it. I went. What's the big day, you rotten old witch? I lift my head. And the moment I do, my voice tapers away. Oh god. <laughs> That's more than I expected. <clears throat> so that was all I have for Sakura Forest Girls this time then, so hit like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye!